Hello there, um, g'day, how are you going? Um, yes, this is Rod from uh, DNE Book, uh, which is available at smashwords.com and is a handy uh, reference guide for newbies and uh, perhaps seasoned domainers as well to, uh, yeah, to expand their domaining knowledge. But what we're going to do today is we're going to actually list a domain name in-house at Dynadot. And what this means is uh, we're going to um, have the domain name there for when people search for for that term or a similar term. It'll come up down the bottom and people will be able to see it as well. Uh, what it means is they'll be able to see the domain name and actually be able to buy it now. And they can act on it straight away, which I believe is pretty important when it comes to uh, domain purchasing. A buyer will act quickly. Sometimes when they have to make an offer, wait for a uh, counter offer, they go a little bit cold on the whole idea. If people can buy now, it is a better strategy in my belief. And also, uh, what I'll mention uh, at the start of this is also when you sell a domain in-house at Dynadot, uh, you will only be able to use the money that you make um, as credit in Dynadot, in your Dynadot account. So if you sell a domain name for $100, you will have $100 to use within Dynadot, which can be used to purchase other domain names or for renewals. Uh, let's see. So, okay, this is one I registered on the weekend. Uh, Dynadot have, had a sale on, uh, on .co. Uh, for $1.99, so it wasn't really much of a um, cost to take a chance. And uh, as, as it stands, I could even grace delete this domain name that cost me $1.99. It's possible that, um, as you can see here, uh, if I clicked it, if I clicked it then went over here, I could grace delete. Uh, it's possible that that would cost me $2 and I've just wasted my time. So, uh, yeah, for $1.99, I should say, um, let's take a chance and have a little bit of fun and learn a bit. So here we go. What we do is we click on the name. I've already unlocked my account. You need to unlock your account over on the right-hand sidebar before you can do this. We click on the name and for sale. As you can see, sale proceeds are given as Dynadot account credit only. And I don't know if everyone knows this, I see some domain names listed for $20,000 and I'm not quite sure how these people expect to use up $20,000 worth of credit in their lifetime if they don't have a lot of domain names. So that's, yeah, I think you're better off pricing a little bit lower and getting a sale that you can use. Uh, or not doing it this way is the other way of looking at it, if you want a fortune for your domain name, which many silly domainers do. Instead, you're better off uh, perhaps pricing at a good price that a business can afford or will at least consider. So, okay, let's go. Uh, for sale, click yes. Save for sale setting. We've done that. Now we click on edit listing. And, uh, yeah, I've already done, filled this out once before. Uh, $299, which is affordable and also our uh, description look i haven't got into it much uh short domain name there were other options for the um category but look i don't think anyone really searches the category you basically go to the front page and you search for the name that you want so anyway let's click changes save changes waiting for dynadot down the bottom it seems to have worked i do it twice just to make sure to be honest Okay, now let's go to Dynadot, the front page, and we'll search the, the snack. Click search. And here we go, the snack.co marketplace, $299. And it really was that simple. And um, I've had a few expiring domain names lately where I've, I've put them in for a to token $19, and uh, a week later, I'd sold about five of them. And they only cost me um, $9 to register in the first place. So depending on what amount of money you put on your time, I guess, you know, you might be running at a loss. But if they were going to um, expire anyway, and I was not going to renew them, I'd rather have a couple of dollars um, credit in my Dynadot account. So, uh, yeah, look, I hope this has been of uh, some type of help to you. And with this uh, domain name, The Snack, which of course .co is short for .company, some people may tell you, uh, although we all know it's Columbia, but it works for .company as well. Um, 
Yeah, uh, it's a very handy shortener, and that's your sales point. So with this domain name here, the snack.co, I'm going to actually do a little bit of Google searching for the snack company and then contact a few of the companies and let them know that I can offer them a brand shortener. So I'll leave you with that little thought. But anyway, here we are. We're back to Diner the Marketplace. And if I wanted this domain name, I could buy it now. So uh, yeah, hey.